Manly men are confident men. People are attracted to men who project confidence. Sadly, many men these days lack any confidence at all. Some mope around with their head down, wallowing in self-pity. Others confuse manly confidence with boyish cockiness. These men have confused confidence with being an arrogant stuck-up. But manly confidence is quiet, it's unpretentious. But when a man walks into a room who has acquired this confidence, people can feel it. The main difference between those who get what they want and those left wanting often comes down to one thing. Confidence. People who think and truly believe they can do something. Whether it's starting a business, running a marathon, or scoring a date with a stranger, they tend to do just that. Our mind is a very powerful tool, and the impact of our thoughts and words cannot be underestimated. Our thoughts create our emotions. Our emotions create our actions. Our actions create our life. The steps that we'll share with you today will get you on the right track for increasing your confidence. Implement them into your life, and you'll see results you could never have imagined before. Number one, define your goals. If you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there. The first thing that finally helped me take control of my self-confidence was to really narrow down on exactly what it is I wanted. In my case, I realized I wanted to improve in four key areas of my life. Mindset. I wanted to develop a confident, optimistic attitude that would allow me to take more risks and make me more resilient if I failed. Rather than form a goal and immediately think, I can't do it, I wanted to become the type of man who thought, I can absolutely do it, and I will. Body. Like most scrawny kids who get into their 20s only to feel like they still have the body of a 12-year-old, I wanted to add some muscle to my frame, get stronger, and build a body I could be proud of. Social skills. I used to be terrified of just about any situation that involved talking to strangers. Job interviews, parties, dates, taking a class, joining a team. I knew that this fear held me back, and I wanted to develop the sort of social skills that would make these interactions easier and even enjoyable. Style. And finally, I was interested in clothes and noticed that guys who were well-dressed often tended to be the most confident, too. So. I resolved to learn how to improve my look and style myself in a way that would make me feel prouder of myself. Number two, push yourself. Have you ever come across a person who is keen on taking insane risks and noticed how their self-confidence is out of this world? This level of confidence comes from their ability to pursue their goals and take action constantly. To become a confident man, you need to constantly practice pushing yourself to new limits and accept discomfort as a reality and not an inhibitor. Some steps you can take to push yourself include ensuring you finish anything you set out to do even when it gets uncomfortable, doing the difficult tasks first, facing at least one fear a week, big or small. Number three, be open to failure. Confident men know that they need to be okay with failure if they want to achieve their crazy goals. You will inevitably become a more confident man if you can accept this fact. When a man accepts failing as part of the process, they break the power of shame that holds you back from attaining the desired goal. A few ways to increase your openness to failing include becoming self-aware, acknowledging when you feel fear and evaluating why you feel this way. This disarms the power the fear has over you. Forcing yourself to do things you think you are bad at. This can include learning a new sport or starting a new hobby. Failing the things that make you uncomfortable will make you more comfortable with failing when trying to meet your goals. Number four, sharpen your social skills. Human beings are inherently social creatures. As much as extremist masculinity tribe would have you believe that men are supposed to be self-sustaining loners who could survive for decades on our own. The truth is that the ability to forge strong relationships is vital, not just to our self-confidence, but our very survival. Back in the days of hunter-gatherers, you wanted to travel in a pack to reap the benefits of strength through numbers and keep away ruthless predators. If you were a hunter, you wanted some gatherers around to collect what you couldn't, and vice versa. Number 5. Take action. Sometimes, the difference between true confidence and insecurity is something as little as their willingness to take action. 
while both men experience feelings of anxiety, fear, or apprehension. The confident man does take action regardless of these feelings, while the insecure one starts fidgeting and chickens out. To become a strong and confident man, you need to be deliberate about taking action. Strengthening the action muscle empowers you to push through and keep moving forward. Some practical steps you can take to make you more action-oriented include making your bed as soon as you wake up, creating and sticking to a workout routine. Tell me, how can you have confidence in yourself if you can't keep a promise to yourself? Start making and keeping goals today by setting one goal that you can accomplish today and do it. If you constantly sleep in, make a goal to wake up early and do it. If you feel unorganized, make a goal to plan your day out and do it. By setting and keeping small goals, you'll start to increase your confidence. As your confidence increases, you'll be able to set and achieve bigger goals, which in turn boost your confidence even more. It's a self-feeding cycle, but it all starts with keeping small goals. Number six, learn how to listen. Confident men have mastered the art of listening and waiting for the right time to speak. They have bold, engaging eye contact and inviting body language. They know how to make others feel heard and important. Listening comes naturally to confident men because they know the spotlight does not always need to be on them. You become a better listener by asking engaging questions. Avoid distractions that interrupt your listening. Actively engage in eye contact and being comfortable in your own skin. Let me paint a picture for you. You know when you're at a party or with a big group of people, and there's that one guy who's like, hey, everyone pay attention to me, and I'm talking the loudest so I'm important. And also, I'm going to make fun of you and make everyone laugh. Do you really think that guy is confident? He may appear confident, but underneath all of that, that guy is super insecure. However, the confident guy displays trait number six, which is that he doesn't need to be heard all the time. He can truly listen deeply. Guys that are constantly talking loudly and trying to get you to listen to them almost has the opposite effect. Like, you've got all this stuff coming at you that you don't hear anything at all. You just start to tune it out because nothing means anything. But when the confident guy who doesn't really say much finally says something, everyone listens. Confident men universally embrace the six concepts mentioned here. They are able to look at another person directly in the eye and maintain their gaze. Confident men can do this because they have accepted who they are at this moment in time and have a strong belief in their self-concept. The paradox, of course, is that confident men naturally attract others to them, including romantic interests and friends. Confident men with high self-esteem also attract more money, better jobs, and more respect than their less confident counterparts. Confident men are not codependent, but instead independent, which is a byproduct of their self-esteem. The best part is, you don't need to be born with these characteristics to have them. You can cultivate them within you too. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and comment your thoughts on the matter. Make sure you subscribe as we have a lot more videos coming out which will elevate your status in life. With that said, see you all soon.